Are you ready to do some RP skiing from the highest peak in Verbier, Switzerland? Make sure you, you follow on other people's it's right, other people's tracks, right? Okay. For those of you who don't speak French, RP means off slope, outside the slope, out of bounds, outside the boundary line, that sort of thing. Mont Four, elevation of 3,300 meters. I had to take a gondola, a chairlift, and two trams to get here. The only official slope down from Mont Four is this one right here, which is filled with bumps and is in the shade right now. So it's gonna be kind of icy, but you can see a lot of people are doing it. The reason I say official slope is because you can also go down this way. It's or piece, it looks like some pretty extreme skiing. To me, this looks better, so I'm gonna do that. Check out these guys down there. I guess that's where I'm headed. By the way, I'm not filming it because I don't want to ski this type of terrain with a camera sticking off of me. That makes it much harder. All right, I lied. I'll video a little bit. different ways just uh, saw a guy who we were standing here he went down here which is just narrow enough to get your skis through he did it I can do it my skis are probably a little bit shorter than his but I don't want to do it I'm gonna go back where more people are going more tracks as I learned I think it was Caillou in French on y va The hike it's probably about a good 40 feet up and just came down through right here there's some people behind me one of them also fell so i guess the head of their group went down to go help her this is an adventure i think the next step is to go down here and then take that traverse all the way over there the guys who were ahead of me doing that they're way over there so i'm gonna go try and catch up with them because it might be a while for these people to get over the, the hump here Do I follow those tracks and drop off <laughs> or do I play it safe and follow the well traversed tracks over here? I think I will go with the ladder. Whoa! That's a drop off too, but I see these people taking the traverse and they're all hiking up. Oh man, that's a big hike. Because if you go this way, you can't get out. You can see, if you go over that drop, you're just going to ski, you're going to have to come over and have a worse hike up. So, doing the traverse, 
And I guess I'll go link up with all these people who are hiking way up there. And I guess we're gonna traverse over there. Let's go. <laughs> Il faut des skins ici. Oh, il faut des, des skins ici. Les... Ouais, on met les pots là, on met les skins, ouais. Ah. Et pour moi, qui n'a pas les skins. Par là. là Ouais. Oh, ok. Mais vous devriez dire avec les tracks, où il y a des tracks. Yeah, but you, you, are, you want to be careful, so make sure you, you follow on other people's right, other people's tracks, tracks right? right? Okay. Hey. Stay on the tracks, and you, you'll come along the lake, and there's a dam, and then uh, it's, not, it's not too far away. You just want to stay on the tracks. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. absolutely. I agree with you there. there. Merci. Bonne chance. <laughs> All right, so you can see my way forward is to follow these tracks because you have to have skins to go up there where these guys are hiking. That's a traction device you put on the bottom of your skis. I don't have it. my skis just wanted to have speed enough to get through there I didn't know how steep it was Back to civilization. Thank you. 